it's Tuesday morning, the wind is getting up again, hopefully the fancy pants lapel mic will handle it. In this video, I want to pick up on the video I made yesterday. So if you didn't see yesterday's video, it might be useful for you to go back, if you permission, to leave this video early, which is not good for my analytics, but hey, um, it might be useful for you to watch that video first. You'll also be aware, if you follow me on Twitter, or you follow me on my Facebook group, what I was up to yesterday. So that's what we're going to talk about. Megan. Megan is a mother of one of Sammy's friends. And she spoke out earlier in the case, very early in the case. And she's spoken out again. That some people who work in a store were, were at a party. I don't think it was the party that Kylie was at. There was another party going on. And they saw lights in the reservoir and they called 911, but that wasn't taken seriously. So I looked at the time period between 1226 and 1256 on the police scanner. The last phone ping was at 1233, and there was nothing on the police scanner to indicate that a 911 call would come in. Now this is dispatch, so this is not the 911 calls themselves, this is dispatch. So if a 911 call comes in, then dispatch contacts officers on the ground for a checkup or something, right? They, they make it known. There was nothing. Lots of people in the comments of that video said, check different time periods. So I did. So I started at 11.26 p.m. on Friday the 5th. Kylie's mother says that she texted her, Kylie texted her around 11.30. So according to Kylie's mother, and assuming that Kylie sent that text message, then she was alive and well at that time. So I started there and I went all the way through to 3.30 a.m. There could have still been people out there because people were camping there all night. So people perhaps camping near the water. You'd have to be near the water. You'd have to be on the shoreline or you'd have to be on the hill, like right at the top of the hill. There's nothing on the police scanner to indicate that a 911 call came in. Now this is Nevada County Dispatch. Now if someone had perhaps gone home and it was on their mind, you know, they'd seen these lights and it was on their mind and they rang, maybe when they got home and they lived in another county, it would still be routed to Nevada County because that's where Prosser Lake is. But nothing, nothing. So, and I, how would this Megan, this mother of Sammy's friend, know that this 911 call wasn't taken seriously? How would she know that? So, my opinion is that this story is BS. That either Megan has made this up, or the people that Megan spoke to weren't telling the truth. So that's where I am with that. Now, I have tweeted Nevada County Sheriff's Office to see if they'll comment. I'm not holding out any hope that they will. You know, they've said that they're not going to comment on any more social media rumours. So I'm not holding out hope, but I'm doing my due diligence. I believe that looking at a four hour time period for Nevada County Dispatch, the county where Prosser Reservoir was at, is my due diligence. So the burden of proof now is on anybody who believes that that 911 call was real to prove, at the very least, that that 911 call was made. Because for a 911 call to be made, whatever time, right, even if Kylie was dead by the time the lights were seen, and the lights wouldn't stay on for long, that engine would fill with water, that, they wouldn't stay on for long. So if Kylie went in the water in the very early hours of August the 6th and lights were seen and a 911 call was made and it wasn't acted on, that's a very, very big claim to make. Very big claim to make. So the burden of proof is on anyone who believes that that 911 call actually happened 
to prove it. So that's my challenge to anybody who thinks that this story isn't BS. I believe it is. I believe I've done my due diligence. I've done all I can from my end. So now it's over. The ball is very firmly in the court of anybody who wants to believe that that 911 call is real. So is Megan just another person who's inserted herself in the case who actually knows nothing? She's just coming out spreading rumours. <laughs> you know, coming out doing the very thing that Kylie Rodney's mother doesn't want social media to do. We could speculate that she's been sent by Sammy. <laughs> because Sammy is the head of the snake, in my opinion. If any foul play went on whatsoever, I believe Sammy would know about it. Megan said, the kids aren't saying anything because they don't know anything. But then she said, there's loads of pictures and videos that were taken, but the kids, you know, they're scared. They're scared. Not about the police, because the police have said they're not going to prosecute. However, they're scared of what the parents might say. They're scared of what the colleges might say about the underage drinking. And that's why there's no pictures of the party that has come out. That's nonsense. Listen to yourself, Megan. It's nonsense. Because there's been a raft of <laughs> clips from previous trucky parties that were out there on social media and much of which has been taken down now since all eyes have been on these people but they were there filming themselves doing fight clubs <laughs> go and look at the footage i've got it on michelle walks from a party in march these kids are not concerned about what their parents might say or what their colleges might say, you know, they might lose scholarships, etc. It's nonsense. What kid, when they're partying, thinks, oh, what might my college say? Well, there might be some, there might be some. But I would just guess that the kids who were that concerned about their college and their future probably wouldn't go to these parties anywhere. Maybe they would, maybe they would. Maybe I'm too old and too out of touch. For someone like Megan to come out and say, the kids are scared, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it, I'm sorry. I do not believe it. From August the 6th onwards, why has no one brought ranks? Why? Now we don't know how many pictures and videos have been sent to law enforcement I hope lots we know there's at least some because the sheriffs in one of the press conferences said that Kylie was seen at the party in the odd futures sweatshirt the white sweatshirt the white hoodie I believe she was alive at well at that party but to prove that she was actually there her last picture last proof of life Show us that picture. What time was it taken? Because here's another thing. If anybody caught Zav Girls live last night, I haven't seen it all, but uh, I caught the first about an hour and a half, and she was talking about a camper who was camping at Prosser Campground. Now, bear in mind that uh, the campground, there's two campgrounds, there's the group campground, there's the family campground. They're on the other side of that little track to the sanctuary to where the party was. But Zav's been talking to a camper who was there with her boyfriend. And it's interesting. I don't know whether it's true or not. It's interesting that this camper said that she saw Kylie's car a few times throughout the day. Now, we don't know what time any of this occurred, she saw Kylie's car near the boat ramp. Now, is it a car that looked like Kylie's car? How does she know that it was Kylie's car? She doesn't know who was in the car. 
but it was earlier than the party. So I don't know. You know, it's a big question mark. Where was Kylie throughout the 5th of August? We know she was at home in the morning. Then she went out. Where did she go? Her friend Kate said that she was with her making creme brulee. Then we see her at 6.08 on a surveillance video. It's just a screenshot from a video in a store, a gas station. And that's the last picture. So where was Kylie throughout the entire day? Was she at Prosser campground? Did she go to the boat ramp? Maybe, maybe she did. I mean, the plan was never to go to the party, was it? She was meant to be going to hot August nights with her mother. And it was only kind of at a later stage in the day that she texted her mother and asked, could she go to this party? And her mother said, yes. So was it that the people that she was with earlier on in the day persuaded her to go to the party? Persuaded her to participate in one of these fight clubs? Can only speculate, can only speculate. And I have speculated in videos. Megan also said that Sammy knows everything. So whatever Sammy says goes. And I firmly believe I've always said that these teen to teen meetups, these were ways that Sammy could get these kids on their own and tell them that they shouldn't talk. I firmly believe that that was the purpose of these teen to teen meetups. I firmly believe it. No one will shake that from me. But why? If nothing untoward happened at that party, right? You know, as Megan said, this party was just a, a graduation party. It was just kids having fun. Maybe it was. Their idea of fun is underage drinking and fight clubs. So, any number of untoward things might go on. But when all these teen to teen meetings were going on, for Sammy and Kylie's family, they thought she'd been abducted. That's what. That's what they said, the story that came out. Although Megan said that the first thoughts were that Kylie had just gone off, just wandered off, just gone somewhere. Just gone somewhere else to have fun. Maybe she did. Is that the kind of thing she did? Even though she texted her mother saying she was coming home. Is that the thing she did? You know, Sammy said that she thought she might just stay there and sleep it off. You know, she's a smart girl, she'll work it out, said Sammy. But no, no one's smart and they've got alcohol inside them, especially when you're 16. No one's smart under those circumstances, but yet Sammy left her. But yeah, that's perfectly fine. According to Kylie's mother, that's perfectly fine. You know, just hug her. Yeah, it's great. Everyone has failed Kylie, everyone. Now, this could be nothing but a tragic accident. Nothing at all but a tragic accident. But why have these kids closed ranks? I can't, get, I can't get that out of my head. Why have these kids closed ranks? Why did they close ranks right from the get-go? And why have they still continued to stay closed? Something else Megan said that I thought was very interesting where she said that one time something was going on with her son and she wanted to find out what was going on with her son. So she asked Sammy to find out. Well, that's very telling. That's very telling. So is Sammy a snitch? Or does Sammy command such um, authority that whatever Sammy says goes and if Sammy wants to tell, Sammy will tell. You know, is she that much of a bully? Is she that much feared by these kids? Got to ask the question, or is Megan talking a lot of tosh? And if the 911 call is anything to go by, maybe she is. And again, burden of proof is now on anybody who believes that that 911 call is real. Can we believe anything Megan says? Second, third hand information? No, probably not. I don't set much store by it. So yeah, this could be a tragic accident. But the way that these kids have behaved, especially Sammy, keeps me very concerned.
all right guys let me know what you think in the comments below i've been michelle hope you're well see you in the next video goodbye from naughty miss tillington and miss cassie springer <laughs> bye guys